Welcome back to day two recap of Penn State's robot in three days. Our robot is almost completed, and last night our CAD team spent the whole night finishing the design, and today we implemented that and built it, and you will see that in the reveal tomorrow. Instead of sharing the robot with you tonight, we wanted to share something very impactful. We're a big team, which you may or may not know. We're 40 people, and we knew that that would either be detrimental to us or be extremely productive. Yeah, so uh, as you probably know, decision making is really hard for a team of any size, but especially for a large team like ours um, with almost 40 people participating in our free day build event. Um, and decision making was something that we struggled with last year. Uh, the hardest decision that we have to make each year is which prototypes to put onto our final robot. Um, last year, we approached this through a large group discussion where anyone that had an opinion on the current topic would speak up and share their opinion. I remember that. Um, and this resulted in a lot of conflict and a lot of people talking over each other, so much so that we had to use what we called a talking stick. And basically, like preschool, you could only talk if you held the stick. Um, we really wanted to pivot from this strategy this year um, because we felt that there had to be a better way. Here's how we did it. We made eight teams of four people. We found four to be a good number to encourage discussion. In each group of four, we assigned a leader. This leader would represent the group of four in large team discussions. So when we wanted to make a full team decision, we would have the, the team break up into the groups of four. The group of four would come to consensus. The team lead would understand this, and they would represent the group of four in that large team discussion. We would then have each lead take an idea from the discussion and bring it back to the group of four. This encourages people to consider multiple perspectives and forces people to break free of the first idea they come to. With our new decision-making strategy, we were able to really reduce conflict and also have our members much more well represented. We were able to make our final prototype decision in just 45 minutes, which was much improved from last year. And we also felt that our team as a whole was much more well represented. Our team saw a lot of impact by recognizing that decision making is a strategy. We hope that our experiences can help your team too.